Hey, hey. It's public speaking made easy. 365 tips, tricks, and techniques for public speaking. So you can share your gifts and talents, your calling with the world. And so you can make a world about the world, the only world, the only planet we're living on, a better place. So what I did, I uh, a, a friend of mine, Rosa, said it very well that I'm a geek for public speaking. I don't know. No, I do know why. I spoke at my grandmother's memorial and it was magical. I literally felt, I'm not saying I was, watching myself from up above giving the talk and there were maybe 20 people there. Every single one complimented on what I said because I did one thing and we'll talk about it later, another later tip, but that was speaking from the heart. I uh, compiled this book uh, from uh, many, many different authors, uh, including uh, the world champions, Darren LaCoy, Mark Brown, Craig Valentine, Ed Tate and um, uh, Mr. Miller, Lance Miller, along with Judy Carter and Patricia Fripp, books and writings and teachings and classes, and took the best that I found of everything that they had to offer and put it here. So none of this well, a lot of it is and I stuff I made up and even the stuff I made up probably I didn't make up. I don't think there's anything new. But there is something to knowing something. You might think people are born perfect speakers. Well, I think a person a perfect or a good speaker can be made can you can learn. It's a craft. Like any craft it needs to be learned. You know, in the ancient days, they had the apprentice and the, the and the teacher, the the top craftsman, and they worked as an apprentice be, be, before they became, you know, a master. So I'm here to make you a master, but not for you, but for your audience and therefore for the world. We're up to tip number six in the chapter why speeches don't work so we talked about uh some of them we talked about in the introduction and i won't go over every tip because by the time i get to the end i'd be reading the whole book but but basically introduction is have a clear message know have one idea and have your audience go from why am i here to how do i do that and then we, uh, number one, and not in that for sure order, was too much dialogue, not enough, uh, uh, too much narration, not enough dialogue. We had uh, no transformation. If your hero doesn't transform, how's your audience? Uh, no um, conflict, uh, taking too long to get to the story. No clear message. Too much information, as Craig Valentine says, when you squeeze your information in, you squeeze your audience out. And now we're at no clear structure. A human being likes to feel safe. And I feel safe and feel good when I know where I'm going. If I'm going to San Francisco, I wanna know, am I gonna take the 101 the whole way and take the scenic route, it's gonna take a long time? Or am I gonna take the five and get there faster and have to run, drive through where all the cows are there polluting the air? like. 50 times more than what a person would be doing. Hey, and that's educational because you're going to find out how bad the dairy industry or the cow industry, the meat industry is destroying the planet. So it's kind of a good thing. So take the five, forget the, forget the scenic route, take the five, clear structure. So the clear structure is knowing where you're going. The audience feels good. They, and also in another lesson, you'll learn um, Darren LaCoy says, you want to be clear on where you're going. You want to be clear on where you're going. 
So when you when you go from A to B, so you want to tell them so they and they feel comfortable. So the basic step for public speaking is tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them what you told them, and then recap and tell them what you told them. I it is so important. I dedicated a whole chapter to it, chapter six. So the basic thing is for today is no clear structure. You want to have a structure. You want to have an idea for your audience to know where you're going, what you're doing, where you've been. And when you have structure, they'll do that. The mind, here's what Darren was going to say. Uh, you, uh, uh, it, you need to be clear on what's going on. And that's actually what the last tip was. Right, it's, excuse me, it was Craig. A clear mind says yes, a clear, uh, confused mind says no. So stop. So you just, you have a clear structure. This is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, and Darren also says the mind wanders. In fact, uh, one of the tips that I just finally remembered again is when you, you don't know where you're, what you're thinking about, the, the most important part of a speaker's mind, I finally got it, the most important aspect of a speech is the thought process in the thinker's mind. The most important part of the speech is the thought process in the audience's mind. Oh, finally got it. Okay, and so a clear structure gives the audience room to not have a whole bunch of questions. Oh, we're going to talk about why plant-based diet is the way to go. And we're going to find three reasons. It's good for the person's health. It's certainly good for the animal's health. And it's good for the health of the planet. It's cheaper. You save money. You save lives. Every time you eat a hamburger, it's in danger. It's it, maybe two, every three hamburgers a child dies. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. It, it takes 640 gallons of water for every hamburger. And for every hamburger, for every pound of hamburger, it takes about 10 to 15 pounds of grain that the kid could be eating rather than starving to death. So if you want to have a planet to live on, you know, if you want to, if you like animals and you know, a pig is smarter than your dog, you might want to stop eating meat all the time if you want a place for your kids to live. Okay, so that's so that's a very clear message. Now the thought process in the speaker's mind being like, holy shit, we're all gonna die. Well, maybe that's good. At least they'd be clear on that and that's the clear message. So uh, stay tuned, because it's gonna be a while before we get to chapter six, but a whole chapter just on the structure. So you wanna have a clear structure. And we don't do that. And, uh, you know, I, I, many of us are Toastmasters. It's a public speaking organization, toastmasters.org. They don't do that. We don't make a structure. And maybe we think it's silly. Oh, I'm going to talk about plant-based diet. Oh, we just talked about plant-based diet. But people like, the, the human mind likes that. They like it. It feels good. It feels good to put that seatbelt on and I'm taking the five all the way to Frisco. I can relax. It's just a straight line. Don't have to worry. All right. So that's it for today. Uh, come back in just a few minutes and I'm going to be talking about probate and how you can save a whole lot of money and time and all that. We're going to make the probate system, the probate structure, the probate process. I knew I'd get it right. Easy for you. We'll see you tomorrow.